So hello to all the viewers. With me, I have Dr. Manasa Murli Thiran, who has secured a rank of 17, 17, 17 in the NEET SS DM Neurology Entrance Exam. And not just that, even for the Central Institute as well, for INISS, she had got a common merit list rank of 22. So top ranks in two big exams. Hearty congratulations, Dr. Manasa. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. So this has been a year of uncertainties, so many exam pattern changes. So at this moment, you know, I hope you are feeling very much relieved. Yes, sir, definitely. I feel very happy and relieved and satisfied, actually. Okay. All right. So uh, for the viewers, uh, let's try to know more about Dr. Manasa. So Manasa, in which college did you do your MBBS and uh, post-graduation from? Sir, I am from Kannur, Kerala. Uh, I did my MBBS in Government Medical College, Kannur, uh, 2009 batch. Uh, then I uh, went on for post-graduation in MD General Medicine from Government Medical College, Trishur, Kerala, uh, 2017 batch. I completed my MD in uh, July 2020, and uh, then we had a one-year senior residency. And uh, it was after that I started preparing for my super specialty entrance. All right. Fine. During my residency, we didn't get much time, so it was after that I started a serious preparation for this. Okay. Now, considering the uh, NEET SS, you have got good ranks in both NEET SS as well as INISS. So um, just go through the general pattern of questions in NEET SS, like talking about the neurology questions. What was the level of questions being asked? Was it more conceptual or factual, long stem questions, short stem questions? How many proximate image-based questions? And uh, watching, I think you have joined for the doc tutorials lectures also. So how did the lectures also help you shape your preparation? Okay. Sir, uh, this heat assess, um, I thought the questions were actually different from last year's heat assess. I felt that way uh, because most of the questions were uh, lengthy ones, long stem questions, clinical based questions. There were only very few what uh, short stem questions like factual questions. Many of them, they were like giving a clinical scenario. They were asking the management or they are giving some angiogram images and they're asking what is the diagnosis. So like that, most of the questions, around 95% questions were only clinical questions. And uh, I thought so. And the difficulty level, I would say it was like a, more towards the tougher side, actually. I felt it that way. Comparing uh, INESS and NETSS, I felt NETSS was a more tougher than INESS this year, I felt it. Then uh, there were questions from pediatric neurology also. Many image-based questions were there. From general pediatrics also, there were questions. So uh, it was like uh, most of the questions were from Harrison only, I think, from the exact line from tables of Harrison, like example genetics of Parkinson's disease that was asked. So all those were given in Harrison tables. So I think uh, a lot was covered from Harrison only, but um, I had gone through Bradley also, but uh, I didn't have time to cover the entire Bradley. I just went through the important tables in Bradley also. So that was more helpful for me in INISS, I think, more than NEETSS. In INISS, there were more of questions directly taken from Bradley also. Then regarding my preparation, I uh, joined Doc Tutorials in uh, the mid-August, actually. I subscribed to the LI series initially. And then I uh, upgraded to neurology video package. And I had watched, sir, all of your videos in uh, neurology. And I had made notes of your videos. They're really beneficial, especially the stroke management uh, part. It was a very excellent video. It was, I read it, everything in my notes. I revised it again and again. Then for general medicine and doctoral, I was not able to complete the entire video, but uh, I selected some of the videos. I, I wrote, made notes of it. And uh, like I initially read Harrison, I completed Harrison urology part first, I read word by word Harrison. And then I uh, went on to see your videos and then I would combine your extra points into my Harrison notes. And like that, I made a single note 
and then I was uh, revising that again and again. Then regarding the allied test series, uh, I had given almost all the tests actually, but initially my rank was uh, very bad. I was in the, uh, I was not even in the top 30 or 40. I was, it was really bad. So that time I was like, I need to get, uh, I would see that uh, rank list you put in the doc tutorials app, like top 20 names you put. So I was like, somehow I need uh, to see my name also in that top 20 list. And then I would uh, study for that. Uh, this week, definitely, uh, there should be my name in that list like that I would study. And then towards the end, I was really happy. Like, uh, in I still remember my first, my name was there in neuro ophthalmology test paper. My name was there in uh, top uh, 20 rank. So I felt really motivated after that. And then I would write all the allied test series and after that, in almost every uh, test, my name was there in that list. So those exams were really helpful. And the last mock test you put, sir, in uh, INISS, as well as the neurology mock exam, it was uh, the exact replica of what we got in INISS. And my rank was, I think, 15 in uh, that mock test. And my INISS was 22. So almost it was the same rank only. Uh, neat tests also I was rank four I think in a uh, doc tutorial so that actually boosted my confidence and uh, went for the exam and uh, you know in the elite exam series also uh, you would have also observed most of the students who actually figured in the top ranks in the elite eventually went on to get almost similar ranks in the actual exam as well so yes. what is your take on the level of competition that you had on the elite exams and how it motivated you because the same students went on to get top ranks in you know INISS and NEETS. So you were always having a good competition, right? A positive, a good competition among yourselves. Yes, sir. Um, in the elite test series, uh, most of them uh, like there were repeated names in almost all the exams. The top, I mean, five or six students, I still remember their names and they got into INISS, very good institutes. So I was nowhere near them initially. So that time in doc tutorial also an ample number of students were writing these tests also. I think in neurology more than 200 are uh, giving these exams in uh, doc tutorials. So like that I was able to assess my uh, level. Where am I standing such a point and then I need to improve this much. So this much competition is there. It's an all India level exam. So it will definitely boost up our confidence. So I really recommend all of you to go through these allied exam series and uh, somehow uh, let your name happen on that uh, test board actually. Okay. And uh, just tell us one thing, you know, many of the viewers will be medicine residents. Just tell us one thing, what attracted you to neurology? Why neurology as a super speciality? Sir, I got an interest in neurology in my post-graduation towards the end of my first year, I think, after around six to eight months of my residency. Uh, we had a good number of neurology cases at our college and we were exposed to some very good cases also. So initially it was very difficult for me to, I was afraid of taking to be frank neurology cases because the examination in neurology is a very lengthy one compared to the other systems. So I was like, it was, I was feeling very difficult in taking the history and examining and all. But later, gradually, uh, our teachers were, uh, we had some very good uh, bedside discussions as well as some seminars, everything on neurology topics were uh, very good. So all those uh, helped in instilling and uh, uh, interest towards neurology. But I was not like into uh, serious preparation during my residency. I was interested in neurology, but uh, for super specialization and all, we didn't get much time. I was more focusing on completing my MD exams first. And then only I would uh, go for uh, super specialization. My final year also, we as postgraduates, we were more like taking neurology cases because it was very important for the final practicals also. So like that, on taking more and more cases, I think I got attracted towards uh, neurology and uh, I wanted to take a field which was like more clinical oriented, which stayed along with medicine. Uh, so that actually fits neurology more than any other subject I think so that's why I went on to take neurology. So you know a very important message to all the viewers listening is that see um, I have seen many students preparing through this SS exam. Some students to begin the preparation you know they might already be in a good level and uh, 
they'll be consistently in top ranks. If you see Manasa's graph in the various exams, to begin with, initially she was slightly behind, but then she was very consistent. So uh, there was that period probably, you know, she might have been working very hard. And then, you know, she was able to maintain that position in the elite exams. Because I think that was one advantage of the elite exams also, because probably that gave you targets, Manasa. Like, you know, you have to finish something within the next week. So did that actually, was that your target timetable? Like, okay, I've got to finish the lectures or some questions within this? Yes, sir. I was actually following your advice in that WhatsApp group, whatever you put in that uh, voice clip, I would actually, <laughs> I would make note of it actually. Any extra point you give, everything, I would add it to my Harrison-based notes and all. So you were telling like to follow the uh, allied timetable and then give the exam and then go move on to the next one. So actually I was following that only. So that actually helped me to complete within that time period before that INISS. I was able to complete only because of that. If I studied on my own uh, timetable, actually, I would not have completed Harrison before uh, INIS. So only because of that, I was able to cover that much portion in Harrison. Okay. So, so happy at your achievement. I'm sure that everyone at family will be happy right now. Yes, parents. Definitely. All are very happy and they were also motivating me. Uh, my husband and uh, my family members, everyone, are really thankful to them also. All the best, Manasa, for a bright professional as well as a personal life as well. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.